forties. Make a decision. Exactly how long have you known about this? On your PC and now on your Mac. Do I really have to tell you what's going on? Catch up on 4OD. Hello, join me, Chris Moyles, tonight at 10 o'clock for my quiz night when I take on Carol Vorderman, Claudia Winkleman, and Marco Pierre White. <laughs> it's me, Chris. Kids are misbehaving in Hawaii, in Super Nanny USA at 5.45, right after deal or no deal. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. What a sensational week we had last week. The last two games really have deserved the term sensational. We had Mel, aged 20, a student. And then on Friday, we had Eddie, aged 80, a retired car mechanic. But they both produced astonishing, life-changing games. And Mel got the banker's gamble on Thursday. She'd already got £10,000, and she actually gave it back to the banker on a bet that she didn't have the pound, that she had 50,000. And she got the bigger sum. It was a sensational game. But the one I just loved was Eddie, when he went through, and it was a creeper of a game, and got to the climax. 20,000 pounds in one box, a quarter of a million in the other. He was offered 70,000. And at his point in his life, he wanted to make his partner, Pat, secure. And he went for the 70,000. And he didn't seem to have too much regret when we found the quarter of a million was actually here on the table. You did miss it, Eddie, but I wish you all possible success in your life now with 70 grand. There's big money about at the moment, folks. This could be a mega Sunday. Here they come. We're in a period of determination, good timing and bravery. Keep it going. Bridge. Your game. Thanks so much. Rich, Richard Clark from Epsom in Surrey. That's a right. builder and plumber. That's right, yep. How long have you been doing that? About four, three, four years, something like that now. I'm uh, trained to be a plumber, still at college, so nearly finished, got another six months to go. So, uh, you live with your dad, and, I and do there's indeed. sort of a little group of you doing this building business. Oh, no, it's just me and him at the moment. Is um, it? Oh. Yeah, no, it's quite nice. So, it's uh, just the two of us, so it's not too big and there's not too many people. So, kind of responsible for ourselves, which is nice. So. You want to sit down? You don't have I to stand up if you want. Okay. Just, just sort of kind of overwhelming me slightly there. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have we got in terms of the picks you brought? Well, this is on uh, one of my friend's nights out. It's uh, Chris's birthday, I think. And we're in a bar in Water Station in London, mm -hmm. getting ready to go out. Now, we got invited out for the day, so we all turned up as him, because he's known sort of a posh, posh guy. So we all decided to dress up as him and really take the mick out of him for the day. But uh, it was quite a funny day, actually, because I kept getting called Boris Johnson, and it was during when he was about to be elected, so... Uh... <laughs> and George Dawes. I know, yeah. I'm getting a name round, you know. <laughs> OK, who's that? Oh, that's my little Alfie. Yeah, he's a oh, snappy no. with it. But, uh... yeah. OK, who's that? Um, that's my sister, Rosemary. She's 29, I think. Yeah, 29. Uh, that's obviously me, with hair, which is quite a strange one. Um, that's my dad, Tony. Uh, he's obviously that's who I work with as well, so... The two of us, and that was my mum as well. She was 57 when she passed away last 2007, so mm. it was quite a tough time, but yeah, so but working with dad helped and sort of get through it. And How, how's he taken? Yeah, on the you know, on the chin, he has to do sort of thing, you know, it was tough times, but 
you have to get through it and just carry on and we're getting there. It's good. Are you happy to uh, crack on with this? Yeah, I certainly am, yeah. OK, there's just one formality in this game, as you know. I need you, please, to confirm you chose box number five at random before the game began. I certainly did, yeah. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. You're revved up, rearing to go now, Yeah, aren't I think you? I am, yeah. I'm ready to go, aren't you, if you're ready? All right, uh, there's just one thing I have to do. Rich, good luck! Thanks very much. <laughs> Right, I don't believe in uh, Curse the Nubia or anything, and I think uh, trying to get out your way first, you know, I know how nerve wracking it is, as Noel pointed out to me on my first day. But, uh, yeah, if you go in box one, that'd be lovely. Rich, good luck. Cheers, mate, thank you very much. Yeah! Right, well, I think I want to save Daddy Chris as well, actually. I'll save him. Um, 13 on my birthday, so I think I'll save that as well. Yeah. And number three was my mum's birthday, so Dave, I'm going to be saving till the end as well, I think. So three. Without giving too much away. Three, 17, and 13 are staying to the end. <sighs> Lamin, you look lovely. <laughs> number 10, Lamin. Oh, man. <laughs> what a lovely man who delivers horrible boxes. <laughs> I don't believe in that. He's all right. You're all right. Good luck, Ray. Cheers, mate. Thank you, right. I rest with my case. He's keeping that name, isn't he? The Laminator! Oh, don't worry, mate. That's all right. Don't worry, Ray. That's the worst that happens. It's all right, isn't it? It's not too bad. Number 11, Rog, please. Thank you, Rog. Good luck, Rich. Okay. Here we go. Nice to loot. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Nice one. Want the one P, Noel, to be honest with you? Yeah. Who do you want to kiss? Mm. Number nine, Margaret, please. All right, Margaret? Yes. She's lovely, she is. She's gorgeous. She's lovely. Lovely. We're just saying you're lovely. It's nice to receive compliments from gentlemen. You are a lady of true poise and delicacy. <laughs> Can I open the box now? Yes! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right, one more. One more. Hmm. Liam, number 20, please. Baby. <laughs> what are the scores, Richie Dawes? <laughs> You've been looking forward to this one, have you? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're one of those people you can immediately see. Good sort, gentle giant. Huh. Yeah, he's made some excellent decisions. Sensible guy. Yeah. Very wise, very wise. You've realised it's better to be bald than ginger. So you <laughs> shaved it all off. <laughs> Thank you very much. OK. Your opening offer, Rich, for box number five is £9,750. <laughs> Cracking offer, especially a cracking starting offer anyway. Very good offer. But you're not going, are you? No, I don't think so just yet. Lovely offer, Mr Banker, but I'm ready for the question. £9,750. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Come on, guys, come on! Hmm. <laughs> Looking at Danielle, number 16. Yeah, number 16, Danielle, please. Yes, a lot, Chris. Cheers. Good luck, Danielle. 
35,000. Well, that didn't work there. No, that's right. Little hole appearing on the right hand side now. As long as I keep the bottom free, that's fine. Yeah, I'm okay. Happy with that. Yeah, no. Uh, peasant number 19, please, mate. Okay. Oh. Up it's uh, 50p for you, mate. 15,000 oh. pounds. He's smashing that right hand side now, isn't it? You are starting to <laughs> make some holes in it. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, mate. Right. I'm picking them, mate. I'm picking them. Um. Ah, oh, fellow salad dodger, Sean. Look at that, number 18. <laughs> Please, matey. If anyone can come out for me, you will. Yeah. Good luck, Rich. Top man. Freeze! Don't move an inch! I said don't move an inch. <laughs> Thank you, don't move an inch. We're going to hold it right there. And quite often I invite the player to say why the nation should return. But I think there is a compelling reason, a fascinating story about what happened to you when you were walking the dog. We are talking about incredible courage. Yeah, you'll come back. Join Unibon's campaign against bathroom mould. <laughs> Unibon's anti-mould sealants and grouts stay mould-free for longer. Oh, now you can seal and shower in two hours. Unibon Speed Seal, shower proof in two hours. This is not just No More Nails. This is No More Nails Ultra. No More Nails Ultra, the ultra-strong instant grab adhesive. Flu viruses can spread if you don't catch your coughs or sneezes hygienically, passing flu from person to person. Flu viruses can live on hard surfaces for several hours, making flu easy to spread. To prevent the spread of flu when you cough or sneeze, catch it in a clean tissue, bin it, and kill it by washing your hands as soon as you can. Catch it, bin it, kill it. Call 0800 1513 513 to hear the latest information on swine flu. For almost a decade, Channel 4 has been following the lives of six unique children, each born with a disability. Whoa. As the children turn nine, we return again to see how their lives have changed. God makes us all different. Born to be Different continues with Turning Nine, Tuesday at nine on 4. I'll be with you in a minute, Sean. It's not a long story. <laughs> but uh, Rich was out walking his dog. And uh, suddenly, suddenly, a complete surprise. I mean, an astonishing moment. Just visualise. He's walking with his dog. And a snake came out. <laughs> and the first reaction... <laughs> Rich ran off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Long as well. Yeah. All right, snake. Left the dog to deal with it. Yeah, it's one thing I'm really scared of. Really? Yeah. The rigor mortis has set in over there. Yeah. Still want to go with it? Yeah, no, of course not. Yeah, It'd be quite funny if you said no. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, thinking now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> no, I will go over his way down. Thank you, Sean. Oh, <laughs> Good luck, Rich. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Hey, I'll put pen, eh? Oh! <laughs> that'll be a moment of television. <laughs> oh, no. Well, when the other two yeah. reds went, you said, well, at least I've got the top three. You haven't. You've got top two. 75,000 yeah, gone. That's fine. Yeah, well, it's not an <laughs> Hello. You like giving them difficult decisions. We know that. What are you going to do to him now? You're considering making him an offer? Let me guess, does it involve reptiles? <laughs> I'll ask, I'll ask. Just suppose he offered you now, suppose, 50,000 pounds. 
which was in a room full of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no deal. <laughs> oh, he, he really has got. <laughs> says, unfortunately for you, he is the snake, the snake in the grass. Because he's a banker, he's probably an adder. <laughs> Feel free to hiss. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> but for some strange reason, he's sticking. Huh. Despite all that damage, 9,750 pounds. Yeah. That's a fucking offer. I mean, I'll be honest with him because he showed me amazing respect with that offer because that's really good. I ripped that red side apart just then and he's, uh, and he's stuck. That's really good. 9,750 quid. A lot of things. Do a lot of that. What would you do? Sent the old man away, I think, for a couple of weeks. He wants to go to Canada, and he had a trip planned when my mum was alive that he always wanted to do, and he had never had a chance to do it, really, so uh, I'd like to send him to do that, I think. That's a nice so, yeah, yeah, no, it'd be nice. Plus, it gets in out of my hair for two weeks, so... <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> What's left of it, yeah. But no, so I'd like to do that. That'd be a uh, nice touch for him. £9,750. Ask me a question, huh? Nine thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Rick. Over to the left. Left. Lovely Scarlet, number eight, please. Oh no, she's she's just. No, she's oh. all right. She's got a bad reputation, but she'll be fine. Oh. Yeah, I've got, I've got a bit better recently. Yeah, she's yeah. she's turning around now. She's yeah. uh, coming back to the good side. Oh, I'll say this now. Coming back to the good side. <laughs> Go on, Still then. Not sure about deck, Go on, there. Scarlet Fever. Oh, okay, good luck. Three grand. That's, that's right. okay. Yeah, You're that's dead right. Nice one. Blue though, is it? So number 22, sh oh, that's a death box, isn't it? Mm. Number two, Lynn, please. That was a swerve. Yeah, okay, I we're with you yes. now, Lynn. We're desperate to find that 1p. Good luck, Rich. Darren, number 12, please, mate. I was going to save it, but I'm going to go for it now. OK, Darren. Good luck, Reg. 50p, please, mate. Try my best. That's all right. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Cheers, mate. Good luck, Reg. Looks a bit better again now, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling better about that on your yeah. behalf. Hello. They're doing it again. <sighs> this group will be the death of the banker, he says. He's finding it a bit of a strain. It's not happening for you. It's not happening for you, and we're so sad for you. Are you rattled? He's got more, hasn't he? Oh, he was glad I asked. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're not prepared to take any risks. One's bitten. <laughs> Go on then. No big money today, you think? Oh, he wants to stop you, Rich, with 15,000. That's a very good offer. That's a very good offer. That's a good offer. He's pitched that really well, hasn't he? He has, 15,000. What's that gap? Yeah. <sighs> Deck, what do you reckon, mate? Looking at that, I think you've got another round in there. See, if I was standing in the wings, I'd be saying exactly the same thing. I know I would, but £15,000 is money that could be written right now. 
we've had this conversation. It's a hell of a lot of money, you know. All changes, doesn't it? Yeah. Why we call it the For walk me. of wealth. You come out from the wings, you take that walk, and suddenly the money we're talking about is potentially yours. Yeah, that's right. And it does change everything. So yeah, 15,000 for me is a hell of a lot of money. Or 15,000 for anyone's a lot of money, don't I mean, just me. A uh, quarter of a million is a dream figure, 100,000 is a dream figure, 20,000 is a beautiful figure. Anything above that is absolutely amazing. I'm not going to say that's my target, but I'll be honest with him because he's shown me such great respect for the offers. It's, you know, it's just, a, just around that sort of figure. Um, one more round, all blue round, would be mega, wouldn't it? It would indeed. Mega money. Very, very few people, this is statistically proven, very few people who go at the third offer make it work. It's very rare for it to have been the right decision. Yeah. But you made it very clear that 15,000 is the sum of money that would be very nice in your life, Rich. So I'm yep. most certainly not trying to talk no. you out of accepting it. I can't believe I'm going to say it. Yeah, go for it. Go. I'm ready for it. £15,000? Deal or no deal? No deal. Oh, that took a lot of courage. Number 14, oh, uh, yeah, number 14, Pat, please. Pat? Here we go. Pat, thank you. Oh, before I open the box, can I wish my son a happy 40th birthday? What's his name? Wayne. Wayne? Where yeah. is Wayne? He's not here. <laughs> Where is Wayne? He's at all in Bury. What's his surname? Kerwin. Kerwin. Wayne Kerwin. Oh, happy 40th birthday, Wayne Kerwin in Bury. Good luck, Rich. You've been a fantastic person. I hope it's a blue. It is. Oh! oh no! Oh no! Oh oh. That's all right. It could have been worse. I'm not too down about that, to be honest with you. As long as that big one stays down there. OK, but now you've got to have two blues. Yeah, OK. 21, Jamie, please. All right, Jim, come on. 50p a pound, 10 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds. Good luck. Thanks very much. Yeah! Thank you. That'll do. Thanks a lot. One of his power five for one of mine. Yep. Well, we are going to take a break. And how about this for a prospect? I want to talk you up. I want to make you feel confident. You've been very open and very honest. Don't throw away the big game opportunity. We had a fantastic game on Friday with Eddie. And Eddie, at the end of the game, had that yeah. and that. And remember, you know with deal or no deal, just because it happened on Friday, it doesn't mean it can't happen again. Thousands of holidays from Havana to Hong Kong from just 649. Demand more sparkle for your money at virginholidays.co.uk. We've got something quite special going on in store this weekend. 10% off when you spend £50 before closing time Monday. Better still, you then get a privilege card. Ta -da! Which gives you 10% off everything throughout May. That's everything. Use it again. And again. And again. That's a lot of 10%. <laughs> Win a trip to Las Vegas, the home of Dodgeball. Win every day with special packs of Doritos. Cheap car insurance, meerkats, two very different things. Listen their jingle. Listen mine. Compare the meerkats. Don't even sound same. Compare the meerkat.com. Compare the market.com. Simples. Experience the natural taste of water. Britta, a simple way to transform your water for less lime scale, less chlorine and fewer impurities. For a difference you can see and taste. Uh. 
Make Britta your source at home. Here's the deal. At Sainsbury's, all these bottles of wine are now half price. Delicious with dinner, even better with friends. Kebab. I'm serious. Flavor. Flavor. Pot noodle. New Kebab flavor pot noodle. Obviously. Actimel's come down. Buy two eight-packs for only £4. That's just 25p a bottle. Actimel helps support your body's defences for less. My name's Sam, and today I'm going to be taking pictures of the land of robots. I've got to take different pictures of the whole thing because it's so huge. Now I'm going to download my pictures and make my robot land in like two seconds. I'm squishing it all into one big one. And there it is. I'm a PC and I am seven years old. Garden work can be tiring. Or really simple, easy, cable free, and quick. CISO, the new cordless secateur from Bosch. Bosch, invented for life. In Britain, there are thousands of children who can't find anyone to adopt them. Hello! A landmark documentary series gains unprecedented access to a radical new attempt to find them families. If they get this child today, they will feel complete. Find Me Family starts Monday the 11th of May on 4. We've lost the 100,000. Come on, come on, 50p, 10 pounds. It's got to be low, very, very low to make up for the 100 going. Yeah, I was going to say Chris, but I think I'm going to use him now. Chris, mate? Yeah? Are oh, you blue? All right, we were going to, for some reason, save you. But you might need to come in nice now guy, and eh? save the game. Chris, I hope I can do it for you, mate. 20k. Oh, right. I wanted to keep still that. Still got backups then. I'll still got backups. That's yeah, okay. all right, okay. Nice one, mate. Don't worry, mate. It's fine. 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 Is that really his name, or were you on a bet to come up with that name? <laughs> Wayne Kerwin is a made-up name. Wayne Kerwin, K-I-R-W-I-N. <laughs> Kerwin. <laughs> you could have conceived him on a Spanish holiday, the banker says, and his, his Christian name could have been Juan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't. Once I get the giggles, it's over. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Evans, come on. Right, yes, banker. <laughs> 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 what have you done to him? <laughs> it certainly is. It certainly is. Looking pretty as well, I might add. It was on the table on Friday, but then look at Lamin. He's had 100,000 for three games in a row at one point. So there's no reason it couldn't be on the table again. Thank you. <laughs> Eight thousand pound. Oh, I'm ready for the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Oh dear, come on, this is serious now, isn't it? Uh, we got to eight box, you're, you're four all. Um, you've got the mighty, the mighty one at the bottom there. 
And he's offered you 8,000? 8,000. 8,000 pounds is a good offer. Sizeable amount of money. Yeah, uh, you'd very, board, you'd very much like to send your father uh, on a trip to Canada. Yep. Um, certainly could do that well within that amount of money, couldn't you? Yep. 8,000 is a very nice sum of money. <coughs> but then again, so it's 250,000. Shell, what do you reckon? It's a difficult one. Um, depends if you're a gambler or not, Rich, to be honest. I mean, 8,000, it's a lot of money. It, it'll get you a holiday and... Certainly will, yeah. Yeah. It's a hell of a lot of money. Then again, I'm not going to be here again. Rich, eight grand is a year's wages to some people. Exactly, yes. It, well, don't get me wrong, it's a hell of a lot of money. Yeah. You know, I could do a lot of things with 8,000 pound. Well, is that your answer? But then again, there's another side of me. <laughs> <laughs> but quite rightly, says you'll never be here again. Exactly. Rich, if you take the 250 out, you're not going to get an offer like that, and you'll have to go all the way to get that eight grand back. But you've got a seven to one chance of taking that out if you want to go another round. And with, you know, as long as the 250 is there, you'll get a better offer. Go I'll go for it. Eight thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Come on, guys! Come on! Dick, you got to get rid of that reputation at some time, haven't you? This is the pivotal round, isn't it? Yeah. You've made it clear that you've got a target. And actually, we were edging very close to it. Yeah. Well, if we can get through this round, keeping 10,000, and hopefully 5,000, but 10,000 as you back up, and not find that, I think you'll get back nearer to your target. Yep, yeah, deck 15, please, mate. Okay, we are going with you, Declan. Will you please take the first pace in this round, the first step forward? Here we go. Thanks, Declan. That's good. Stop. That's good. I, I actually think it, it's anything from 5,000 downwards. Yeah, it's fine. Shell, I'm looking at you. 22, please, babe. Okay. Right, Shell, we're with you. Right. Good luck. Yeah, we need a real goodie here. Yeah. Nice blue, low blue. Yes! I'll tell you what, the way this is going, the next one's fifty pounds. That's the way you've been going. <laughs> wow, what a what a five box that would be. Number seven. The absent pony. Right, well, in her absence it was disastrous the other day. Uh, which of you is opening it? Okay. Right. He he let slip, I think, um, his target. And uh, you're getting close to it with that fifteen thousand. If this is anything other than the quarter of a million, then he is going to get back closer to that target. But if this is the biggie, the target, the dream is over. Shell, this would be so sweet if it's one of those blues. And it would be extraordinary if it's the 50 pounds, frankly. Shell, open box number seven, please. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, Rich. I really hope this is the one for you. 5,000. Uh, <laughs> It feels it feels a little too greedy to say it would have you know, been nice to hold is, on to. You know, you're going to get a nice offer now, but but what? <laughs> Again, you're only here once. I know you get blinded by numbers, but oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What's the saving grace? Oh yes, that two of those were red. <laughs> well, he 
would say this, wouldn't he? Um, he says if this was his game, he'd be looking now for an offer that, uh, that he could deal. He'd be wanting to get out of this game. No, 15,000 wasn't quite enough. 17,000. Good offer. That's a very good offer. <laughs> so he's pitched that really, really well. But how many players can say they get to five box with a quarter of a million in play? None too many. Well, apart from uh, Eddie. Chris, I'm coming to you again, mate. You've got some good sound advice. Hit me with it. Well, Rich, at the moment you seem to be getting... I keep, I keep seeing you stare at the, the 250, know, getting man. a bit blinkered, boy. Like, you're back up there to where you, where you wanted to be earlier by the 15 grand. You're over that now. Do you think that you'd be happy going away with a blue if you had a blue? Would you be happy going away with 10,000? Because... Once that's gone, we go back to Eddie's game, but he, he had something to fall back onto. Yeah, true. I mean, £17,000. Cash. Indeed. Tax free. <laughs> <laughs> My dad will be watching this back now, and he'll be like, you know, he'd, he'd kill me, he'd actually murder me. Probably with my own pipe bender or something. <laughs> I'm ready for the question now. Rich. Ooh, Rich. Seventeen thousand pounds. Deal on that. Deal. He's just said, I, I just said to him, <laughs> so going at 17 and being so reluctant, you know, and th thinking and, and going for all that advice, 20 must have been your target. How many people thought 20-ish was his target? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said his target was 15. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, uh, on Friday it came here. Um, this, this could still be... I want to spank the bank. Well, up you could still do it, because 17 yeah, is the top of the game so far. Yeah. Um, so we've got to definitely find the quarter of a million. Where would you have gone next? Um, I'd have saved 13, 6 and 3, so I'd have gone 4 first. OK, do something very, very elegant, would you please, Kath? Reveal that you have the quarter of a million pounds. Oops. Stuff. Come on. Uh, yeah, next time we've got number six. Six? Carol, okay, please. come on, Carol. Can you okay, rip it out of formality. Rip it apart. No, ten no, pounds. All right. One more go. One more go to completely rip the game apart. I'd say three now. I would I would have three? said three. Okay, Dave, have you got ten grand? No. Ah. Oh, look at that one. You'd have had a 50 P yeah. ten grand finish. That would have produced a, an offer that you would have had to really think long <laughs> and hard about. Well, sit down Hello. I know you've been spanked again. <laughs> Thank you. At this point, he would have been offering you four thousand oh. pounds. <laughs> I wonder which one you so brought chuffed. here. So chuffed. You are chuffed. Yeah, extremely. Well, it's big money at the moment. There's big money yeah. in the air, and there's good money on the table. So uh, it would feel as if ten thousand pounds is what you brought here. So if you'd said six no deals, you could have saved yourself a lot of stress and gone away with ten grand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What did you bring? Fifty p. Nicola, would you please open box thirteen? Thousand rich. You've got the ten thousand sitting over there. <laughs> Thank you.
I like this, and you know, you know the question that's coming because because uh, I always love the shows that really have a big impact upon people's lives. Um, mm. you, you lost your mother a short time ago. Uh, Dad must be finding life very difficult, and you'd like to send him on a trip to Canada. Nice trip to Canada, yeah. Nice two week break. You know, get him to do the things he wants to do. I think I'll just give him the money so he can book what he likes. And brilliant. But uh, yeah, he's going to be so chuffed. I'm so happy. It's unreal. It really is the dream factory. Seventeen thousand pound. But. Oh, I else. love the look of pleasure Something on your else. face. I'm so pleased to be part much. of uh, really changing your life. Thank you. Great game for the weekend. Particularly a great game. We all like that feel-good factor. And that's absolutely wonderful. Very, very popular player. Made a big contribution to other people's games. But also back at the hotel. They love him to bits. And a very nice personal story. £17,000. Kicks us off nicely for next week. We might have another week of you know what. See you tomorrow. Stay with four for Super Nanny USA next. Tonight at seven, getting inside the mind of a child genius, where things are not quite what they seem. Then at eight, dinner is practically dancing on the ceiling. In come dine with me. The fact is, everyone tries to cover up what they don't want others to see. Women hide their need for commitment. I'm always going to be honest with you. Oh, you're the guy I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Men disguise their growing insecurity. Lynette has been so swamped with work. It's just nice having a woman notice me again. Wives mask their intense disdain. Orson's up to something. He's my husband, and I still love him. How can ordinary people hide the truth of their feelings so successfully? All it takes is a smile. Desperate Housewives continues Wednesday at 10 on 4. I'm going to take a shower. Make yourself at home. Hogan! It's Daddy! Coca-Cola Zero presents The Impossible Made Possible. Great Coke taste. Zero sugar. It's possible. Wicks timber decking is slow grown for 80 years, which means it's less inclined to split or twist. It's got our name on it. Wicks. Over time, wrinkles appear around the mouth. Lips become thinner. New L'Oreal Collagen Filler Double Action Lip. One, smooth the appearance of wrinkles around the lips with collagen biospheres which inflate up to nine times. Two, intensely hydrate for a replumped effect. New L'Oreal Collagen Filler Double Action Lip. We're worth it. Here's the deal. At Sainsbury's, all these beers and ciders are only £10 each, or two for £16. As if you need an excuse to get your mates round. Ever had that feeling that your love life is spiralling out of control? You've made a life-changing decision and promised to organise a make-or-break trip to Rome, and then, at the crucial moment when you absolutely had to book the last two remaining flights, you suddenly lost internet connection. And then you realise... That was all just a bad dream. Nobody gives you a better wireless connection than BT Total Broadband. Stay connected. Call 0800 317 316. At moneysupermarket.com, we compare the price of car insurance for more brands than anyone else. See how much you could save at moneysupermarket.com. Thunderbirds are go. FAB. Free reactions and spec savers. When cancer causes money worries, we're here. When you need to talk to someone who understands, we're here. And when you're worried about the future, we're here. At Macmillan Cancer Support, we're here for you. So that some days it's not all about cancer, it's about life. Call us on 0800 500 800 or visit macmillan.org.uk.
at Halford's amazing bank holiday deals, like up to half price on all rally bikes. This mountain bike is now $159.99 with a free light set and computer. Every bike's assembled and safety check free. And you can reserve online and collect in store. All rallies up to half price at Halfords now. At Cody's Now, this stunning Dell laptop comes in a choice of five colours. With 3 gig memory, 160 gig hard drive and webcam for only 379 Save £50. Or it's free when you sign up to mobile broadband in store or online. Just choose the right colour for you at Curry's Now. got something to say about television, there's now a place where you can find your voice. Hello and welcome to the TV show, the programme that gives the audience a say and a chance to put your questions to the programme makers. Want to give it a go? I'd love to. To get involved and join the conversation about television right now, go to channel4.com slash the TV show.